Hello yogis, it's Rosalie here and welcome to this short yoga practice designed to open up your body and work out all the kinks. This is for all levels but was designed with beginners in mind. All you need for this practice is a yoga mat, make sure you're barefoot, and you might like to have a yoga strap or just a little towel close at hand. It's not necessary but it's great to have. And we're going to get started today in a comfortable cross-legged position. So take a moment here to really find the most comfortable position. Shifting around, maybe moving any fleshy bits out of the way. Just rooting your sitting bones down into the earth. Think about reaching the crown of your head up towards the sky. Just going to place our hands here on our knees and we're going to roll the shoulders up, back and down. And just close your eyes here just for a few moments. We're going to begin our practice today taking three big cleansing breaths. So as you exhale, think about sighing all the air out. Let's take a big inhale through the nose. Open your mouth. And again. One more. Let it all go. Just allow your lips to come together. Breathing in and out through the nose. Really connect to the breath. Feel how the body expands as you inhale. And how it softens as you exhale. Good. Keeping your eyes closed. On your next inhale, float your arms up and overhead, palms touch. And as you exhale, slowly draw your hands down to your heart. Let's blink open the eyes. We're going to reach our right arm out to the side. Put a little bend through the elbow and reach your left arm up and overhead. Think about turning your chest up towards the sky, so you're really rooting your left sitting bone down still. Can you feel that nice side stretch the whole left side of your body? Maybe you want to sink a little bit deeper. We're going to inhale up straight over the other side, reach the left arm, little bend through the elbow, right arm comes up and overhead, reach for those fingertips. Spiraling the chest up towards the side. Big inhale here. Maybe a little bit deeper as you exhale. Then we're going to come all the way up. Good. We're going to have one foot out in front. So my right foot is out, sitting cross-legged. And all we're going to do, very simply, is start to walk the hands forward. Only go as deep as it feels good. So as you do this, you'll feel a stretch through the right glutes, the right hips. So maybe this is enough for you. Maybe this is enough, or maybe you want to come all the way down. Again, just do what feels good in your body here. And we're slowly going to walk the hands back. We're just going to switch it so now that left foot is out in front of the right, sitting cross-legged still. And we're going to walk the hands out. And now you should feel it through the left glute, the left hip. And it's sometimes nice here just to put a little bit of movement. So just helping you work out all the kinks, maybe helping you come a little bit deeper. And you'll definitely find that one side is usually tighter than the other. This is definitely my tighter side. Oh, this feels so good. I'm going to walk the hands back. Just come into a seated twist. So we're going to take the right hand behind us. Take the left hand on the outside of the right knee. Now inhale, really find length through the spine. And as you exhale, twist looking over that shoulder at the back. Let's move with the breath. Take a big inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. One more big inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit more. 
Good, straight over the other side. The right hand comes on the outside of the left knee. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Really twisting here from the navel. Big inhale. Exhale, a little bit deeper. Ah, come back to center. We're going to meet now in a tabletop position. So coming up onto your hands and knees. If your knees are a little bit sensitive, you could always pop something underneath your knees, like a pillow or, you know, a blanket, a towel, whatever you have at hand. From here, we're going to make sure the hips are stacked above the knees, the shoulders are above the wrists. Your fingers are really nice and spread. We're just going to do a few rounds here of cat-cow. So let's take a nice big inhale to drop the belly and look up. As you exhale, push your hands into the mat, drawing the belly button in, chin comes towards the chest. Inhale, think about bringing your heart forward. Exhale, press the palms in, tucking in the tailbone and the chin. Let's do two more. See if you can move to the rhythm of your own breath. Last one here. Push, push, push those hands down, rounding through the upper back. Great, we're gonna come back here into our tabletop. Move your hands just slightly forward, just a couple centimeters. We're gonna tuck the toes here. Make sure the fingers are still really nice and spread. The index fingers are really pointing towards the front, pushing the knuckles down. We're going to start to bring the hips up and back. Now, see if you can keep your knees really nice and bent here. So you're bringing your chest as close as you can towards the tops of the thighs. And then start to straighten one leg, keeping the other knee bent. And then taking it on over the other side. So you're just pedaling out through your legs here, nice and easy, moving how it feels good in your own body. Good. And then slowly we're going to start to bring both heels down. It really doesn't matter if your heels don't touch, but just have that intention. One day your heels will touch. Now make sure you're still really pressing the palms down. Think about having long arms, long legs. Your hips are at the highest point. So you're making this upside down letter V with your body. Now we're gonna keep our arms really straight, keep the legs straight, but we're gonna take a big inhale to come all the way up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, heels come down. Is that two more times, inhale to rise. Exhale down, one more big inhale up. Exhale, heels come down, great. Big bend through the knees. Just slowly walk the hands back to meet your feet. So we're walking towards the back of the mat. Let your whole body hang, those knees are really nice and bent still. We're going to fold our arms grabbing opposite elbows. Let your whole body hang here. Maybe adding a little sway here from side to side. And it might feel nice just to shake your head a little bit from side to side as though you're saying no. Or forwards and backwards as though you're saying yes. Let's drop the hands really heavy onto the mat. Keep those knees still nice and bent here. We're slowly going to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up. Your chin is the last part of you to come up. When it comes up, let's reach those arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring the hands right behind you, interlace the fingers. Now as you inhale, reach the knuckles down, still a big bend through the knees. And this time we're gonna dive forward, bring your chest back to the tops of your cloth eyes. But this time hands come up and overhead. Can you add a little sway here from side to side, just opening up through the shoulders? Now we're gonna keep the hands interlaced. Can you take a big inhale just to look up? Nice flat back. Exhale, a little bit deeper, hands up and overhead a little bit more. Do that once again, big inhale. Exhale, hands come up and overhead, good. 
Inhale to look up, but this time we release the hands. We're just going to slowly walk the hands back here into our downward facing dog. So remembering we have really long legs, long arms, our feet are hip width distance apart. And we're really making this upside down letter V with the body. From here, we're going to float the right leg up. And I'd like you to bend the right knee and open up the hips. So think about bringing that right knee up towards the sky. So the right foot falls behind you, but make sure you're still pressing both hands equally into the mat. Good. Let's square off the hips. Now look towards your hands and bring now the right foot on the outside of the right hand. So once you're here, and if you don't quite make it, you can use your right hand to help bring that foot forward. I'd like you to shimmy the back foot even further away so there's lots of distance between your feet. From here, we're going to go ahead and let that left knee, the back knee, just drop down onto the mat. Bring all your weight on your left hand and just push now that right knee away. You might like to add a little sway from side to side. So you'll feel the opening through your left hip, hip flexor and that right glute. This might be enough for you. This might feel good. Or you might like to drop down onto your forearm to come a little bit deeper. Again, really gauge what feels right in your body today. And every day is different. Some days you might find you're a little bit more open or some days you're not. So really work with what you have today. <laughs> good. Now, if that left knee is sensitive, this is where you could always pop a towel underneath your knee. We're going to use this towel now just to help us hook the foot. So we're going to, all of us are going to come back on that left hand. We're going to bend that back knee. Maybe you can take your right hand and grab the foot. If you can, you're going to bring the foot in towards you. And as you do this, make sure you sink your hips down so you'll get such a nice juicy quad stretch on the left side. If you can't quite grab that foot, take the towel or the yoga strap and you can just go ahead and gracefully wrap it around that back foot and use this, or better yet, let's make a loop first like this and then we'll grab the foot. And then you can use that loop to bring the foot towards you. <sighs> okay, here another breath and then we'll release Let's bring that right knee back, back in the tabletop position. Once again, just moving the hands forward slightly. We're meeting back here in our downward facing dog. Once you're here, just take a moment just to maybe sway a little bit from side to side, do anything that feels good. And we're going to take that straight over the other side. We're going to float the left leg up, bend the knee and open up the hip. So that left knee goes up towards the sky, left foot comes behind you, pressing both palms into the mat. Now we're going to look towards those hands. We're going to take that left foot, drop it on the outside of the left hand. Shimmy your right foot behind you so there's lots of space between the feet and we're going to drop the right knee down onto the mat. Let's take all our weight onto our right hand and take the left hand on the inside of the left knee and really push that knee away. Maybe adding a little sway here from side to side. Remember, you can always pop something underneath your right knee if it's a little bit sensitive. And you might even like to see if you can, can come down onto your forearms. So you're opening up through the right hip flexor and that left glute. All right, let's come into that quad stretch. So we're going to bend the back knee. I'm already going to have my loop ready. So I'm going to take my loop around my back foot and then start to draw the foot in towards me. But as I do this, I'm making sure my hips are still coming down. So the tendency here is to come up, see if you can sink the hips down, draw that foot in. Stay here for 
Two more breaths. Really nice. We're going to release the foot. Let's meet back here in our tabletop position. This time we're going to stay here. Make sure those hips are stacked above the knees. We're going to keep the hips where they are. And all we're going to do is walk the hands forward and bring your forehead down to the mat. So coming into a puppy pose. So let your heart just melt down towards the mat. This is called heart melting pose as well as puppy pose. So maybe have that cue in mind. So you're softening the point in between your shoulder blades, opening up through the chest, the shoulders. Can you reach those fingertips forward? Make sure your arms are really active here. And from here, we'll meet in child's pose, so slowly walking the hands back. You might like to have the big toes together, the knees a little bit wider apart. Reaching the arms forward. Can you just melt your whole body down? Taking a few breaths here, absorbing all the benefits of your practice. And when you're ready, just slowly start to walk the hands back. And let's be back in a cross-legged position. Once you're seated, just bring your palms together at your heart space and allow your eyes to blink closed. Taking a moment here to set our intention for the day. Just ask yourself, what would you like to invite more of into your day? What do you want to call into your life? Let this come to you as one word or a feeling tone or quality. Let the essence of that just infuse your whole being. Slowly think your eyes open. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends. I post a new yoga or meditation video every single Tuesday. Thank you so much for practicing with me. See you next time.